For me, the, the greatest challenge was getting into the dolphin's world. I thought what might be most fascinating was looking at dolphin intelligence. So many people always want to know how smart are dolphins, and the ultimate goal would be for them to let me in and, and see those special moments. I have always been interested in dolphins. I've encountered them on a number of previous stories, but I never actually got the ability to focus on just that subject. There was a few magical moments, I would say, during my field work on this story. One that comes to mind occurred in Hawaii. I was there to photograph spinner dolphins. One of the things I had heard about was gameplay, that, that these dolphins would sometimes take these very large leaves that fall into the water and they would play with them. One morning I went out there and lo and behold there were dolphins right offshore grabbing leaves on their pectoral fins, their dorsals, their tails, passing them to one another. That was, was certainly a, a highlight for me. Well, we did push some boundaries on this story in terms of technology. One that certainly comes to mind was an aerial picture that I had hoped to make. I had heard about dolphins exhibiting a behavior where bottlenose dolphins would make what was called a mud ring around a school of fish. Ultimately, we decided that a 500 millimeter lens was gonna be needed. I've never used a 500 millimeter lens from a helicopter. That's really not something that anybody does. But with some help from the folks here at National Geographic, we came up with this new technology to be employed in this picture. And on day one, which almost never happens, I was able to come home with publishable frames and then we could just sort of perfect it over the rest of the time. There was one picture in particular that I wish could have been in the story. I was following a pod of spotted dolphins that were socializing and so many times I would spend these days just swimming and swimming and swimming. It can be exhausting and the weather is not always fine and you're swallowing a lot of water, but you're hoping for a moment. You're hoping for something to come together. And, and that certainly happened in this one instance where the, the dolphins sort of stopped their forward progress for, for just a, a moment, stopped and came together in this very beautiful ballet-like pose. It, to me, spoke to these graceful animals and, and how social, behavior is a big part of their life. I think it's, it's having those moments, having that one brief instant that inspires you. All the bad stuff sort of fades away. You can sort of laugh about it after and you're inspired to go on and continue to do it.